I hope that's clear and that's how you need to be, uh, be able to set up our MongoDB client. So now that we have that, you can go back to our, our list and then see what's next on the list. So uh, now that we have that, we have set up our configuration. Now we will go ahead and actually set our base template. So let's go ahead and actually set our base template. So I'm going to go into my folder called templates and in there I'm going to create a uh, HTML file called layout layout.html uh, and in layout.html that's where i'm going to create my html uh, basic template okay so i'm just going to go ahead and actually uh, create that template right here so in that in this template that's what you're going to be inheriting from the reason why we're going to be using template inheritance is that we don't want to be repeating our code uh, repeating code all the time so template inheritance is going to help us to avoid this so I, I assume that you have a basic basic knowledge of flask if you don't i have a whole series on flask so uh, you can uh, that teaches you all of this from the basic what's the template and why you need template inheritance so i'm going to keep a card up here and then you can watch that video on template inheritance so basically i'm just going to show you uh, how you can uh, set up a basic template in our uh, flask okay so great let's begin so what you need to do now i'm going to just uh show you how to do that how to set up a template in our uh, flask okay so great so set up a, a template is very important because we don't have to be repeating code as i said earlier on so let's go ahead and actually begin to set up our template now before we begin to setting up this template we need to we need to uh, use a couple of uh, libraries so i'm going to be using the bootstrap uh, cdn so if you want the bootstrap cdn is it just a cdn stands for a content delivery network so it helps you to use a bootstrap without actually having to download a uh, content on your local machine so i'm just going to go ahead and actually get that bootstrap cdn so i'm going to go to bootstrap uh bootstrap bootstrap uh, let's go to bootstrap 5 and then you can get that uh, bootstrap uh, basic template okay so i'm just going to copy this uh, sorry make sure that you copy this and if you are not sure about this i have this in the code so you can just refer to the code okay in case you are getting stuck so i'm just going to copy that uh, bootstrap cdn and i'm simply going to paste it above the title tag and i'm going to paste it right there and then i'm also going to go ahead and actually grab the one for the javascript so i'm going to get the separate one and then i'm going to paste it just before the closing uh, body tag so great so that's why i need to have those tags uh, there so now that i have that let's go ahead and actually see how you can write a password variables from your flask uh, from a python application which is going to be our routes right i want to pass some variables from here and i want to be able to access these variables here so i want to be able to set the title depending on the page wi on which the user is so great so now to do that is actually very fairly uh, very simple so what we need to do is i'm just uh this is how you write uh, python code in a uh, 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 in, uh, the HTML is called the ginger templating engine so if you are not familiar with flask again I, I recommend you watch that video that in which I went over the very basics of flask and uh, that should get you started so and uh, if okay so uh, that's what we need to do so and then you also have to pass in an else I'm just going to explain to you just in a second what I'm doing so uh, else so in this if title we're going to pass in a variable call i'm just going to show you just in a second you're going to pass in some variable here called title and we want to be able to access the title in this html file okay so if there's a title what you want to do is you want to say uh you want to say uh flask up and then uh die uh, and then you can keep the uh, space and then uh title we're going to put that title here so this is going to be um this is going to be title so this is how you refer to variables in flask so whenever you're referring to variables you use the double uh, curly braces whenever you're writing code you use the cal the, the uh, percentage signs and the curly braces okay so this is a variable while this is actually a statement okay so now that we have that and then else if there's no we're just going to this uh if there's no uh if there is no uh, title, then then you see what the same going to do is just going to say that flask app. That's all we need to do. So that's basically it for that. And then I'm going to show you how to pass in the sorry. I'm going to show you how to pass in the variables uh, from the Python application into this route. Okay. So I'm just going to show you just in a moment how to also how to return templates. So in here we have already set up the template, right? So in this template it has nothing inside here. Okay. So let me just pass in here a simple. Uh, hello uh, i'm just going to pass in a h2 tag and it's going to be a hello world okay so great so now in this hello world app what you're simply going to do is you're going to import uh from uh from flask uh from flask we're going to import uh this actually render template okay great so instead of just returning this you're going to return uh render template and then you're going to pass in the name of that template the name of that template is simply going to be uh, layout.html 
okay great so that's how you simply return templates now instead of returning the hello world from uh, just the text that you have passed in previously you're returning this template and this template consists simply of this h2 tag that is going to return hello world okay so for now you can forget about the bootstrap these are just some bootstrap stuff to make your uh to, to prevent us from writing a lot of css and other stuff okay so that's basically so now we're just simply returning a hello world right here okay and this title is not compulsory you can actually remove this title if you want but in a, in a second i'll show you why we need that title because i want it to be like a dynamic title okay that's why i have actually have it there but for now in this case you can actually ignore that part of the code so just focus on this part of the code which is just simply returning a hello world so just returning a hello world but in this time using a html file rather than just a string okay so render template and then the name of that template okay great so make sure that your templates folder your layout.html is inside of your templates folder all this won't work okay because Flask is configured to automatically look inside of this folder to, for this file. Okay, so if you just say layout, it's going to go into templates and look for that layout.html file. So great. So now that we have that there, I'm going to, going to go into my terminal and then I uh, exit this Python interpreter. And then uh, I run again my my Python uh, Flask application. And then this has already started. So I'm just going to go back in here and then open this in there. Front end, you can, you can see we have hello world, which is just a HTML uh, HTML template. Okay, so even if I go to inspect, and then I can see I have all that uh, HTML header and other stuff, the Bootstrap CDN and everything. So it's actually returning a HTML template rather than that string. Okay, great. So now you can see we have that hello world right there. So now that we have that setup, let's go ahead and actually begin to. Let me show you how to return, uh, how to pass in. Uh, variables from your python application to your uh, to your html template so i'm going to say title and the title here can be uh, anything so i'm just going to pass in a string i'm going to call it uh, uh layout this is going to be a uh, layout uh, page okay so even if i save this right now and then uh, remember we already have this code right here so if there is a title variable then the title is going to be flask up and then that's title variable right that's how you refer to variables within the two curly br uh, braces else it's, going, it's simply going to say flask up and then you're going to end that if okay that's how you write ginger 2 templating uh, code so now i'm going to save that and i'm going to go back to my terminal uh, to my front end now you can see we have no con no uh sorry the title of the application is just flask up right so i'm just going to now hit refresh now you can see flask up and then layout page okay the, 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 this is actually coming from uh from our code right here uh if i go back to route this is actually coming from here so if i change this then it should reflect there so if i don't remove this then the else statement will be used because there'll be no there'll be no title so it is going to say flask up so if i go back here and then try to refresh this you see we have only flask up but if i go back into my routes and then uh, bring back that title and save this and then go back in here and then refresh you can see we have that layout uh, page so great so this is how the title works okay so that's how you can create a dynamic title uh, and passing variables to your html template great so i'm going to go back into my html uh, template now i don't want to just return a hello world in my layout in my layout is just going to be the template that you're going to inherit from and every page of our, our application is going to have a, a, a navigation bar right so that's we're going to inherit the navigation bar and uh, we'll not have to repeat that navigation back code multiple times that's where the power of inheritance comes in so i have already created a snippet here and uh, on my github page uh, if you can find it right here so is this one here uh navbar snippet so you can just open it and then you can copy the content this is going to be our navigation by it says some bootstrap uh, bootstrap stuff so if you don't know about bootstrap and then you can just go and read about bootstrap i'm not going to go over bootstrap in this tutorial but this is just uh, to create for the navigation bar and the reason why we have you have kept this uh this stuff here uh this cdn stuff is because so that our css uh, css classes here can work okay if you are not familiar with bootstrap okay so now that you have that i can just go back to my page and then try to refresh this so you can see we have that beautiful navigation bar right there so great now that's a big progress now let's go ahead and actually set up uh, the other part of our uh, our application now this is the head right so we're going to have the main section and then the main is going to have uh, a class it's going to have a class and the class is going to be a container container dash fluid and then these are just boost some bootstrap classes that i'm using uh, so don't worry about it if you don't know bootstrap you can just go and read about bootstrap so i'm going to create a row here and i'm going to create a column and uh, md i'm going to set it to be two uh just leave that for now and then i'm going to uh create another one call uh call md uh this md dash uh eight okay uh, md dash eight and then uh sorry uh, okay make sure i put uh, dot there so call uh 
md-8 okay and then i'm going to also create in another uh, closing div here so i'm going to call it a uh, call uh, md this is going to be two okay so if you're not familiar with bootstrap i hope that you take a close look at bootstrap i'm not going to explain the bootstrap contents here in depth here okay so i'm just going to go over it briefly so now that we have that done i'm going to go ahead and actually return a block content now the block content is that i'm just going to type it out and i'll explain to you what i'm trying to uh, do so i'm going to say block uh, content and then i'm going to now end block content okay so i'm just going to end and uh block just like that and block so great so now that's all we need to do so you can actually even add your content or you can uh, leave it out if you want so i'm just going to say add block content to be more uh precise so what you simply what this simply means is that every part of our code will be inherited by a template except whatever we are going to keep in this we can override the content of this block okay so i'm just going to explain this to you just in a short while and i hopefully it will make sense to you so what it what basically means is that we can inherit everything inside of this file but we can write everything we can override everything that goes inside of this block uh, opening and closing block contents okay let me just explain to you this i'm going to create another template i'm going to call it view underscore to do's dot uh, html so in in here i'm going to inherit this template we, and there is a power of inheritance is that we don't have to copy all of this uh, html over and over again we can just inherit it and override the part that we want and the part that we want to override is this part here so i'm just going to explain to you how to inherit that so we're just, we're just going to say that um to do inheritance is actually very very easy so you, have just, you just have to use a code block and then you have to say uh you have to say uh extends and then string and then layout.html okay so means it's going to extend the layout.html file meaning that you're going to inherit from the layout.html file okay so now that we have that set i'm going to create a blog content here and the blog content is what you are we are trying to override so blog content is what you are trying to override here so i'm going to say uh, uh end uh, this is going to be end uh block just like that and you can also add your blog uh, content or you can just leave it end block uh, okay, so now that you have that, so whatever we are going to put in here is going to be, uh, is going to be, is going to override the content of, of this uh, between the content that will ap appear between these two opening and closing block tag, but everything else will be inherited. So, for example, I'm just going to sim uh, simply return in here uh, h3 tag, and I'm going to say um, uh, hello uh, world, just like that. Save that, and then go back to my page here, and then try to refresh this. Now you can see we are, we, we, are, we are not getting anything new because we just uh, if you go back to my routes we are simply going to we are simply returning the layout.html now let's return view underscore to do's.html and save that now if i refresh this it's going to change now you can see we have the hello world part of it and the navigation bar also remains but if you look closely inside of our view view to do's we don't have that uh, any html stuff here right other than this one so this is what the inheritance does so we are going to have inherited everything other than whatever is between this block so i have override only the content of this block but everything else is the same so even if i go back to my page here and i try to go into inspect and i try to inspect i uh, go to uh, elements you can see i have all the body tag and everything else uh, inside even the, the navigation but everything else is there then the only part that you have in you have overridden is the part that is between the content block which is here and you can see that's the only part that has changed and it has a low world so that's how inheritance work uh, works in uh, ginger templating engines